Welcome back, everyone. New episode. All right, so a few things, a few things, a little bit of catch up work here. Did a little bit of work off camera. I let, um, why won't this take more? They're out of hay. Why don't won't they let me? Okay, all right. Um, we're not quite ready to move these guys on, so I do have to feed them again. Uh, we are getting close, though. Uh, money, money is part of the uh, the equation here. So I did some work. You see, the bank account is up to 121,000 plus, and uh, I basically cleared out more trees here. So I got all the way over to close to where our little road was, and I thought I'd leave a couple of trees up here just for, for look. Uh, but we are ready for uh, our big cow barn. I just have to get more money, and I have to um, get myself organized with a few other things. Now there's something I'm finding out about this map. I, I think it's the map. I'm not sure, really. Um, but the silage that we picked up is, it's not ready. Um, and we're in January and we're in late January because I kept moving the clock to see how, how thing, um, things would progress with the silage, but it's only like 50%. So I'm wondering if it's unique to this map that silage takes multiple months. Uh, normally it's basically one month, one day, one month. Call it what you want. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's jump over that right away. Here we are. So we're looking at all our bales. I brought the rest over, including the two smaller ones right there. They're underneath there. Um, these are only 59%. So, yeah, bit of a challenge, isn't it? Anyways, um, we've got a few things to do here. Let's get back because I don't need this here for now. Uh, I did notice a couple of interesting things. Um, so, hang on, let me get back out again. Um, this silage pit here, big, huge, huge um, uh, silage silo. Um, there's a way you can get that. I can get this I can buy it basically and there's a few other things but the you know the, on top of the ability to maybe put up productions in here um, this is a piece of land you can buy and I think I'm going to actually buy it right now because we're gonna we're gonna get creative with it I think but if we look at this this land here is only 20,000 bucks um, so I think I'm just gonna buy it there we go. And then this guy here is only 57 afterwards, so I might pick that up as well. Just not yet. Not yet. I've got something else I need to take care of first. I need to get those stones out of the field so I can start working on something into that field. Uh, we need stones for the gold, gold production. That's going to be a big piece. And that is our next project. So let's get on that. I think we'll... Um, I think we'll do that. Yeah, let's, let, let's stay in January. Um, and then we'll move ahead. As soon as we're done with the stones, we'll move ahead to February and hopefully our silage bales will be ready and, and start getting absorbed, I guess we'll call it by the, um, by the BGA. I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that thing takes bales because it's going to be a pain in the butt if it doesn't. Um, we're about to find out. Stay tuned. Okay, uh, let's get this back to the farm. This is another thing that I'm considering as well. Uh, picking up one of these, uh, this centerpiece, you know, this, I guess we'll call it a abandoned town farm I don't know what the hell heck it was um, I guess it was a farm I'm considering buying a piece of this so I can set up some sheds 
out here. Um, things don't have to be all at the near the house. We're gonna try to do a little bit of a distributed uh, concept here on this map in this series. So uh, this will not be needed out here because this will it's not gonna be a, a grass field. Uh, it'll be needed again when we buy another piece of land out here, but for now, we're, let's bring it back because there is some grass that we need to start working on near near the farm. Oops, I forgot I made my little road. I think I still need to clip out a couple more trees here, but... My tiny, thin little road. I guess it's, you know... Almost the right size. All right. I am recording extremely early in the morning. I'm not used to recording this early and the sun's coming in and just can barely see my screen. So much glare on it. Okay. So this is a project. We'll get working on this shortly. I want to get the stones going first, though. So this is ready to go. We are going to plow this afterwards. Normally you don't, you know, plow grass. You just let it regrow, regrow. But I didn't take care of it. Uh, it doesn't have lime. doesn't have... It wasn't plowed. Uh, my yield bonus is weak. Um, so we're going to fix all that, and we're going to extend it out as well. And um, we'll get some more stones. I mean, that's part of the, of the puzzle, right? So, um, all right, time to do a little shopping. I picked out a stone picker. I'm going for this guy. Um, it's 170 horsepower, which I have, and it's much wider. And, uh, you know, stone picking often takes a long time. The only problem is, is it only has 2.5 meters, um, basically, uh, 2,500 liters um, of storage. This one here has. Oh, not double, but it's considerably more, but it's so narrow, 2.4, like it'll take forever. So I think I'm going to go ahead and splurge. There's uh, there's a bit of a difference in price here, but yeah. Yeah, I think we'll just do this. I'm going to buy this. This is something we're going to need ongoing. Um, we'll just pick it up. Okay. And I need 170 horsepower, so it has to be this guy. It's another thing we're going to need to start considering soon, is we're going to need bigger tractors. Alright. I'm looking forward to getting that gold production started. The dependency, you know, basically is stone. Um, I did put some water in there. I did run over there with my water tank and put some water in. And we're going to have to get um, regular water fill-ups. There's a tap right nearby. So I can well or whatever you want to call it. So we don't have to go far to get water. It is free water. So I don't get charged for it. Part of the map configuration. So yeah, so there's um, stones and methane, and of course methane will depend on the silage being ready and all that, so we'll sort it out. I will have to buy a small tank uh, that will, uh, so I'll be able to, you know, move, move methane around, I guess. I think I found one, I'll have to, I'll, we'll, we'll buy that shortly. Getting all geared up. Um, I think I'll do it this way, too, and I'll start with the headland and circle. Okay, we'll get, uh, we'll get course play involved here. We'll pick up all the stones we can get. I don't know, you know, how, how many that's going to take. I want to kind of figure out how to unload stones and getting them get them into a trailer so I don't have to hurt you know 
2,500 liters every time, all the way to the BGA. I'd rather do a full trailer load, but I honestly don't know how, what the yield's going to be here, how many we're going to get. So we'll see. All right. Um, sorry, jumping around. Okay. Now I have a field. I need. I need hay. So that's going to be. That's going to be this guy. Well, first time we're going to use this. This one swaths, uh, cuts, mows, swaths, and adds all at the same time, in theory. We'll get some A bales. Uh, let's set this up. Horse generation. We'll do, uh, let's do three headlands. Did I do more? Uh... I'm, I'm going to be copying the, the, this course for the baler afterwards, so I think what we'll do is... Oh, I can't decide. It is too early. It is too early. I haven't had enough coffee yet. Oh, let's just do three. Let's just do three. Generate field work. How's that look? No, I'm going to bump it up to five. I was having some problems here, along here with some of the trees, so we'll we'll do five. Okay, off you go. There we go. Be nice. And we're gonna copy this course. And then we're gonna get this guy. Oops, already started. Oh, can I pull that baler with this? I keep forgetting my horsepower. What do I have? Oh, also, are there deals? No. Um, what do I have? This is 85. I don't think I can pull the baler with this. Yeah, I'm starting to run into trouble already. The baler is 140. So, yeah, that's a problem. I only have 35,000 bucks. So... Yeah, tractor is now a problem. Although, to be honest, this guy could probably do it. Um, this thing's extremely powerful for 85. But, uh, yeah, we won't push it. Okay, more trees. Oh, we gotta go find a nugget. And I, I, I did uh, stumble. I want to say stumble across two of them. So... We should do that. Let's do that. Um, let's pick... So I mentioned in the last episode that there was one over here that I couldn't find, and it... Um, oops, come on, teleport. And it was actually really easy. I was just... it was staring at me. So it was down here. I was looking in the cart. I was looking, you know every which way, but it's actually really simple. And it is right here. There we go. That's the money for this episode. Okay. 85,000. How's this going? This whole area, well, we're gonna add it to the field. going to take a little while, isn't it? I'm wondering. 85,000. Can I buy a... What can I buy in the 150 range? Third tractor would not be a bad thing. Uh, I would like to stay... I don't want to get old vintage stuff again. It tends to be the go-to a little bit, you know? That's 140. Um, I don't have enough money for that. Oh, yeah, sometimes, you know, vintage is nice, but sometimes modern is nice too. What's this? 
I could do this guy. Hmm. This might be a good choice. Okay, let me think about that. So Agro Star. And oh, I'm considering one of these fiats. This guy here is 150. Slow. It's a slow tractor. Um but you know we have options, right? It's 150. I think I might do this. 58,000. I like this tractor. I mean, it, it is slow. That's the only thing I don't like about it. And it doesn't have a front uh, three-point. Okay, hang on. Let me reconsider. I think I want a front three-point. Let's go back here. Let's let's get this, this guy. Pretty trusty. I've used this before. I can't use this on Bloomfield. Oh, let's make it nice and gray. It costs us a little bit more, but that's okay. Beacons. Don't really need them. Yeah, let's get them anyway. Wasting money a little bit, but what are my wheel configurations like? Broadwells, weights. That's not a spell, right? TM800. Okay. Michelin's. Mitas. Um, Continentals. I don't know. It really doesn't make a difference, does it? Nokian. For some reason, I like Nokians. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, it's more money. Jeez. Okay, you know what? Just base tires, I guess. And rims. Dark. I always like dark rims for some reason. Okay. Okay, good enough. Only 28,000. Can't beat that. Okay, we have our third tractor. Are we full? We are full already. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I have to figure this out. Well, okay, let's get, let's drive one load over there. And I, I, I can either bucket, bucket the stones into a trailer, which is definitely an option. Um, or, or maybe a con conveyor setup that I can use that would do this. So I need to think about that. I think that's going to be a future development. For now, I'm going to get one load into the uh, the gold production just so that it's ready to go as soon as as soon as we get methane in there. It's going to start. It's going to be a huge. Let's cut across the grass. That's going to be a huge money maker. I think. I didn't even check to see what gold sells for. But I assume it's probably pretty darn good. It is gold. As soon as I get on the road here, I'll have a look at what gold, gold selling prices are like. Okay. What does gold sell for? Um, I have to find it. I have no idea where it is. Take me a minute. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's good money. It's, uh, I don't know, you know, how fast it comes out. Uh, 8,000 per pallet of gold is nothing to sneeze at. I'm going to try something when I come back out here. I'm going to try and get the worker to pick up the fields where it left off. Um, I'm just going to pull out of this yard and see if it'll go find its field. There we go, stones. 
don't know how much this production holds either. So let's, uh, come on, there we go. Oh, it'll hold a lot. Not so much water though. Uh, so that's something we're going to have to tend to all the time. And why has it started producing? I don't have methane yet. That's six liters. That's interesting. Unless there was a little bit in there when I bought it. Maybe. So I, uh, I own this now. Right? So I pop this up. Okay, I can use this. I can use this. What else do I get with this? Obviously, I get the use of the shed, which, you know, I could have done it anyway, but... Um, are there any other features here? A slurry tank, maybe? This is the water. Free water here. And this is just a way station. More decorative than anything else. What else is over here? It's the slurry tank that I can start using, I guess. Okay. Alrighty. All right, let's see if this guy will find last waypoint. Let's see if he'll find his way there. Maybe. Aims right at a pole. Okay, well, that was a success, wasn't it? All right, let's carry on. Yeah, I do need to figure out how to how to pick up stones. <laughs> um, I do have another purchase in mind. More equipment. We need some more equipment, but I also need to start considering um, that barn. I gotta buy that barn. So uh, nearest, I think we'll be okay here. Okay, so that's two laps. I should have had it done in the corners sharp. Okay. We have enough to pull the baler, so I'm gonna get on that right away. And the barn. Yeah, we're gonna need some more money for that. Come on. And I want to copy this course. And it starts over here somewhere. Kind of narrow though. I mean, there's their, you know, they're not very wide swaths, I guess. That's fine. It's just going to be a little trickier for the two, two pieces of equipment to run at the same time. So those will be some nice hay bales. Seems to be a bit of an offset. Okay, correcting. All right. That's going to take a little while. In the meantime, I'm going to take down a few more trees here. Need more money, so... I know in the comments on this series, there's a lot of, uh, we'll call it debate on what the proper length is uh, for logs for the best, the best return. And um, quite a few people are saying, um, well, some people are saying six, six meters is the, the proper. Some people are saying nine is the magic number. So I don't really know. I'm not measuring them at all though. 
Uh, there's so much wood on here. That's honestly, I don't really care that much. I just want to get these trees down. Maybe when I get a big harvester, which I probably will at some point, um, you know, I'll, I'll be able to, you know, measure and we'll we'll do a test. We'll do a test. We just have to make sure we get the same exact same tree. Uh, there are different models of trees here. Some of them are much longer than others. Oops, this is not good. I gotta move this right away. Otherwise, my buddies are gonna freak out. We had some problems. Had some problems in the past with um, equipment getting coming off the field, you know, to turn around and getting caught up in trees. So I gotta get these cleaned up quick. Okay, let's get, um, the way I see it, as far as tree size, it's the biggest trees I can get away with, because I can keep stacking them up, that's how I roll. There we go. Oops. Ah, come on. Yeah, that's a bit too long. Gonna cut that into three. But it works. See, let's, let's tidy this up a bit. Okay. Oops. Gotta be careful which kind of cut I make. Never mind. There we go. This actually goes pretty fast by hand. Yeah, with super strength, obviously. Come on. Come on. Oops. Yeah, see, my, my sizes are not well measured. There's a discrepancy in my cuttings, cutting lengths. <laughs> Been trying to do some spot checks on the other series. See how things are going. Um, it, I, I can't keep up at all. Um, so I'm, I'm resorting to watching the odd episode every now and then. Um, there's some really cool stuff going on. Some people really have a knack, the creativity for, for um, I want to say designing farms, you know, making it look really, really nice and natural. I don't think I'm one of those. I think um, I do try a bit, but. I'm referring, obviously, to the Comland series. Um, that's the one where a lot of different people are doing. I have to keep remembering that, um, that you guys, you guys may or may not be watching, you know, all of the series on this channel. They might, you might just pick up one series that you like. And just watch that and have no idea what's going on with the other ones. I, of course, am watching them all. Um, yeah. Okay. I've not been able to recreate the 35,000 um, delivery that I did of wood. I've had this thing loaded to the gills. 
That might be a testament to what some people are saying about certain log lengths being the ideal. Um, but. See, so that's, I want to say that's not full, but I could probably put a couple more in there. I want to make sure I'm not getting in the way. What's going on there? Okay, he's good. Okay, let's see if I can cut another couple real quick. I wanted to thin this out a bit. Um, have it not a, not as thick in here. Let's get this one. Looks like my stones are almost full. I guess I, I have to figure that out now, don't I? Oh. Okay. That was a fail. That was a huge fail. Thought I was cutting the stump. Darn power tools. Just lost the whole tree. Make sure it's well clear. There we go. Oops. There we go. Because I had I had power. To, uh, I guess super strength turned on, so we'll cut anything. Keep turning it on and off. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be enough for a load. I have to go tend to my stone stone picker right now. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Um, I guess. I guess I should have a bucket. Oops, that's not right. There we go. Let's get out of the way. I'm just going to move this. We might add another tree or two to this. But I need, I need a solution for my stones. So, um, I'm going to leave this here. I'll pick it up after we'll go sell that. Now I need to know... Okay, so here's my plan. Here's what I was thinking. Um, I want to get a, I want to get a telehandler for this farm. But I don't have quite enough money for one right now. And I kind of want this guy. Um, yeah. Let's trailer hitch. Um, that's what I wanted. Yeah, uh, this is the configuration I wanted. So this will be 96.6, basically. And I can use it as a telehandler, but I can also use it as a tractor. It's 140. Maybe I should have gone for this. But anyways, uh, I can't afford that, and that's why I sold. Um, that's why I sold the front loader uh, because I was planning to buy this. But I think I have to have a look and see if I can do a another front loader. Um, no cabin. Yeah, see, I can't. I can't do it with this tractor. I think I can do it with the, the bigger one. The one that's actually pulling the stone picker, which is obviously not 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 helpful. Um the agrolux, I didn't actually look and see. I'll have to figure that out. Ah, this is annoying. How far are we? Uh actually we don't have that much left. Maybe I'll just suck it up for now until we find a better solution. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, I keep talking about the stones. How am I going to get them into a trailer? That's that's the challenge. It looks like it's going to be a bucket solution. Um, so far, I've done one load, two loads. This will be two loads. 5,000 liters so far. I'll probably have another maybe five. So 10,000 with a bucket is really not that much. Um, so I think that's what we'll, we'll work on. And the barn that I want, I think, is a hundred something thousand. So, problem. Problem. We got snow coming too. I guess I gotta cut a lot of trees. This BGA is gonna give us methane, um, and it's going to give us digestate and power, I think. So, I think. We'll make, be making some money out of there. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just trying to do the, the math of how I'm going to get to certain things. You see, picking up the gold nuggets is helpful, but it's not, it's not, not working fast enough. The other gold nugget, which we'll get in the next episode, I guess, um, is, is over here in the BGA. And I think I'm going a little from memory, but I think there was more than one in the beat in this whole uh, yard area up here. I'm not sure. How are you guys doing today? I didn't ask. I didn't ask yet. Late in the episode. Checking to see if I, I'm still at the six liters. So, yeah. I guess that's the catch with this production. It's good money, pays well, but you have to get enough stone, right? Um, stone is not that easy to get. Be interesting to see tomorrow morning what that looks like how many of the bales go in that's another thing i need to do i'm going to need to be able to push those bales either pick them up um push them onto the trigger the ones on the outer ends okay looks like something has stopped stopped looks like it's our our swather but I don't quite know why it might be stuck on a tree or something mind you if it's not but it says zero kilometers an hour in the, in the bottom left here well we'll go check on that in a second might be caught up in a tree or a twig or something on the ground or who knows. I'm very excited to be caught up with my with my published episodes. I am now less than a week out, which is which feels good. Feels really good. I like it better. I mean, I love the idea of having stuff laid out so I don't have to stress out on, you know, oh, I have to have an episode by tomorrow morning kind of mentality, but at the same time, I like being in touch, in touch with the comments, in touch with, um, I don't know, as, a, as, a, as I see the comments, it makes me think of ideas and it, it's helpful. I really enjoy it. Um... 
Okay, let's carry on here. Let's go check out our swather. How's that going? Where is it? Uh, it's stuck in front. Oh, it's finished. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's good. That's good news. And didn't seem to have any problems with running into bales. I like it. It's a couple of pallets of planks. Actually, probably more than a couple. Is that sawmill only displays two? I'm not sure I like this storage location for this. in on that's fine this is not turning the corners very well it's okay we're we're done with the the headlands this is the last one we'll try to clean it up pick up one extra bale if we can all right so what do we have um it is, I didn't really set the clock properly. The day is dwindling down. I'm just gonna shove these out of the way here. I don't know how many more are there. Oh, we got furniture. I thought I turned that off. There'll be a couple more pallets here, I think. Three more pallets. We've got to some stuff to sell in the morning. I think we've got milk as well. Okay, that should be it. Yeah, we've got at least one more full load and, and a partial one, I think. This'll be okay. All right, should I move ahead to tomorrow? I might do that. These guys will continue working. I mean, the way that the way that they work is, um, it's like they sleep in the track. They stop to sleep in the tractor while I'm sleeping, and then they start again in the morning automatically. I think we'll, I think we're gonna do that instead of waiting on all this. Okay, uh, the cows are good. I think. We got some milk for sale. We got water. They got food. They're all good. We don't need to worry about them. This tractor needs to be turned off. All right, let's rest. Let's rest, and we'll pick up our activities in the morning. Hopefully, that silage will be ready. <laughs> good night. Something is beeping like crazy. Minus one wage payment, minus one wage payment, minus one wage payment. What is that about? Tons of them. I'm not sure what just happened. What just happened? Uh, oh, they're almost out of food again. Oh my goodness, I think I'm in trouble with these guys. Okay, we gotta get them water right away. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Why was I getting that minus one, minus one, minus one? Let's move these over. Don't know how many there's gonna be. We'll find out in a second. Uh, that's it. That's it. Okay. 
Big question. I guess I have to teleport. I don't have a vehicle over there. Let's find out what's going on. What are these at? 95, 97. All right, they're almost ready. Maybe we'll speed up the clock a little bit. I want to see what happens. Yeah, let's do that. We can watch, watch what happens. And I'm a little worried that it's not going to take bales. Uh-oh, we got a problem. I got a big problem. Okay, I'm going to let it go to 10 to make sure. Okay. All right, so we have 99%. They're 99. Why is this so slow? Okay, let's let's run the clock some more. I guess I don't have to stand back. Okay, so they're all silage. All right, so we got a problem. Oh dear. Okay, how am I going to deal with this? Um, jump up here for a second. I have to move them. Can I put them in here? Oh, it just accepted it. Oh boy, so I got to put them in here? Okay. Well, that's... Alright. Well, can I get back out? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, so I have to get them all in there. So, I am going to... Like, I use super strength a lot here. Um, I don't particularly prefer this. Um... But this time, I'm going to load the, all this stuff manually. Oops, I threw that one over the other side. I'll have to deal with that. Um, but I will try to get, you know, the proper equipment to, to properly handle this stuff a little bit more realistically. Which is in here. Wow, look at the speed of that. It's insane how fast that's processing. Look at the methane. Oh my goodness. My clock is... Okay, I did, I just, oh. It just took a bail here. Come on, up you go. I think my, this might actually be an easier process with, with some proper equipment. Okay, so we're running into a... I don't know. It, I mean, it's taking the bales, right? You would assume that if I take one and put it here, it should... Oh, it does take it. Has to be really close, I guess. But really, really close. Takes it when it wants to. Okay, methane is not a problem here. All right, I guess my next step is going to be, I'm just going to get all these in here. Get this done, get it out of the way. I mean, I could sell some of these bales, but for this, I think I'm just going to load up. I thought this would be a little bit more of an ongoing process, but the way that methane is being produced here, um, I don't think I need to do this again for a while. <laughs> um, 
So I may be selling silage bales for a little bit and then I'll come back and put some more in. Kind of cool that you do have to put them in now. Almost there. I don't know how much I've put in here so far. I don't know what the ratio, I don't remember what the ratio is. Silage to, silage to methane, silage to digestate. It's a lot of it's been processed. Okay. Oops. A couple more. All right. So this has been, uh, we're out of space for silage. And let's have a look at the production. Um, so oh, we're out of space for methane. Oh boy. That's a problem. Okay. So, um, next step let's jump back to the farm this little buddy i'm gonna pick up i was looking at uh where was it i think it was in here uh this guy here it's only 2,000 liters i did not find one bigger so i'm uh, actually well i did, sorry i did find one bigger it is a truck uh, i can't afford a truck yet truck trailer where is it where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, this one here will take methane. So I'm going to have to buy myself a truck. I can't afford it right now. There's other priorities. Um, so we'll get to that. In the meantime, I have to settle for this little guy just to get things going. I honestly don't know. Where am I? Yeah, okay. I honestly don't know, you know, how much 2000 is for that production it might actually not use a lot of methane so um i guess it's a fixed color only three thousand cheap cheap we'll pick it up we'll head over there and uh that trailer is obviously going to stay there It's just a tiny little thing, but I really don't know how much methane gets used in the gold production. So, well, we can, I guess we can look, right? Um, gold. So I need 138 or 100 gold. It'll go through it at a good clip, I think. Okay, let's head over there. I'll catch you guys there in a minute. As I'm driving over here, I got a thought. I could set the methane to auto distribute. And then I got into a whole philosophical process about auto distribute. Um, I kind of feel like auto distribute should be an upgrade to productions, meaning if you have a production, um, you should have to pay, I don't know, I'm still thinking it out, but you should be have to spend more money to get the upgrade to auto distribute for the whatever infrastructure is needed for it. So let's load this up. 2,000, that's really not gonna be much, is it? We got tons of it. I can do this trip a hundred times, probably. Okay, so we got methane, we've got stones, and we actually have more stones ready. I gotta go grab that. We should see that start producing. Uh, it's 192 cycles per month for a hundred gold, so it's not gonna be fast. I don't know what the pallet sizes are. 
whether they're a thousand liters or, or um, it comes out by hundred. I doubt it. Well, let me get two loads of this, then I'm going to go get my stone picker. We'll uh, deliver another load of stones. This tractor does not turn very sharp. I feel like I should have a little yard tractor over here. Maybe a methane powered one. What do you think? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Actually, what does methane sell for? Wait a minute. Um, where would I find methane? Right here. Uh, 70, yeah, it's a hundred and, you know, with the amount that I have, that's 150,000, right? 175, that's a lot of money. That's our number one, uh, our number one, it's actually at a very high price right now. Oh boy. I could fund my truck. I do need to keep a fair amount of it for the, for the gold production now. Okay, where am I going with this? Um, let's put it in a proper shed for now. I'll figure this out. Lots of stuff to think about. Another one of these scenarios where you got money coming, but you got 72 things you want to do with the money, and you don't know which one you want to focus on, I guess. Right, we're going to get a methane. Um, we're going to see if we can find a methane tractor that we can keep around here. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. I know there is one for sure. Not sure how many there are. All right, let's do another delivery. Kind of, eh, not great that I have to keep doing this. Small delivery. Um, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Let's drive out a little wide here. I want to look at the, uh, have a look at tractors, methane. I think there's a small tractor, this guy right here. 75 horsepower runs. It's mainly used for orchards, I think. I don't think this would be good enough um, for the yard. So let's have a look at... Um, are there methane-powered telehandlers? That's what I'm, that's what I'm wondering. I have to. I might have to go back to Mod HUD. Uh, this is electric Mod Hub, not HUD. Gas, 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 gas. These are all gas. If I go into front loaders, they're all gas. Electric, biogas. What's this? Biogas. Is this is this methane? It's not the same logo. Oops. Oops. Wasn't paying attention. All right, let's get this. I, got, I just had a thought. I just had a thought. I'm going to let uh, a bunch of the by um, of the methane auto cell, and then I'm going to turn it off. Actually, I should do it right now. Let's slow this down for a second. Um, I'm going to let it auto cell. And uh, not in here, not in here. In productions, in here, methane. 
I'm going to set it to selling. I still have a ton of silage in here because it stopped right now, right? Now I'm going to speed up the clock so it goes past noon. There we go. I'm going to slow that back down. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to set this back to, to storing. Okay. So this will produce, we'll fill up again real quick. Um, but now I've got money. Now I got money. I mean, I can make crazy money by having a lot of silage and stuff on auto sell and just sell the, uh, just sell the methane. Look at, look what it did to my bank account. Which is great because it's going to let us uh, go to the next level now. All right, let's finish picking up these stones. Okay, where was I? It was over here somewhere. Uh, right here. This should all be picked up in one load now. Okay, so, uh, nope, nearest, off we go. Okay, this is working out, this is working out. All right, um, yep, I figured this was going to be a problem. Probably this guy. Okay, we're gonna let that go. This is growing fast already. Two thirds. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get all plowed out. So it's not growing anywhere. You can grow as much as you want. This will be a fertilizer application, I guess. All right, so we've got money now. We've got money. So let's get, um, what are we looking at for time? Oh, geez, okay. Um, let's finish off this episode by building our big, big barn. The big barn that we want, that I want anyway. Um, gonna go out here. Let's, uh, animals, cows. I have one picked out. And of course, it's gonna take me half an hour to find it again. Give me a second, guys. I'll find it. All right, I found it. This is a beast. It's a beast of a, of a cow barn. It is going to cost me 144000 I hope it doesn't mess up the ground much. Uh, I'm trying to find the nicest fit here. Uh, is this straight to the road? Kind of hard to tell. There we go. Thousand cows, guys. Thousand cows. Here we go. Massive barn. Huge, huge, massive barn. Skip. Cows are about to get real. Um, I think the ground is fine. And we feed in here. I'm not going to move in yet. There's a bunch of stuff I want to do first. But it won't be too much longer. I'm just gonna open these up. We're gonna leave them open probably most of the time. Okay, so we've got our our we can buy cows here. Um, we can. Uh, this is where we get milk, maybe. Uh, maybe this is where. Yeah, I think maybe this is where we get milk. This is where we get slurry. There is no manure pit associated with this, so we're going to have to put one in. We definitely want the manure. What is we dump here? So one of these we dump straw. One of them, you know, on one side is straw. The other side is going to be feed. And what's down here?
Okay, we're gonna have to put in a, a, a big manure pit here. Okay, there it is, guys. That's it. And we're gonna adjust this field out a little bit better to fit the barn now. Yeah, we'll run, we'll run right through here. We'll, we'll widen this out. I think we might take a tree or two out. All right, looks good. Looks really good, guys. So many things to do now. Um, I think we're finished with the stones. Anyways, um, I am going to do, uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a little bit of stuff off, off camera, but um, probably do a bit of decorating. I might, you know, put in some brief cow, cow barn yard um, and some paths and uh, maybe some fencing or something. Let me clean it up a little bit. Look at this thing now. Freaking awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this uh, this series. If you are, please consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you have a great day.